Steelers fans, I am here to end your suffering. Matt Canada is being replaced with me. I kid you not, probably a kindergartner who plays Madden 24 on rookie mode could be a better offensive coordinator than Matt Canada. It will be third and 20 and he'll be like, yeah, let's dial up a jet sweep. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's ridiculous how much talent and how much potential the Steelers team has. And I'm not even saying that to be nice. Like, this defense is the only thing that's completely carrying, and I mean carrying, the Steelers to wins. And with that being said, I'm going to be here to rebuild the Pittsburgh Steelers because one of my subscribers has asked me to, so I'm going to jump straight into it and not waste any time. But if you guys could like and or subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Let's see if we can get 60 likes on this video, and we are approaching 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to be an OG of the channel before we hit five-digit subscribers, make sure you like and or subscribe. But getting into this video, Kenny Pickett. Here are my thoughts on Kenny Pickett. I'm not a huge fan, but he's not a bad quarterback. It's just, it, of course, it's Matt Canada. It's a terrible offensive scheme for this team. Najee Harris, on the other hand, though, the dude looks like he's running through mud. He, I don't I don't know what's up with him. You used a first-round pick on him, and I've, at the time, I thought it was a good pick. Najee just doesn't look good. You can blame the offensive coordinator all you want, but I think it's honestly Najee's ability. I think Najee could have had the potential to look good in his rookie season. He looks good. I don't know what's up with him now. He just he, he doesn't look good in anything he does. Whenever there's an open field play where he can make an open field juke or go one on one with a defender, he doesn't know what he's doing. Deontay Johnson, very underrated receiver. George Pickens is soon to be the number one receiver on this team. I think everyone thinks it's inevitable. Allen Robinson obviously won't be here long. He's kind of like a band aid player for this offense. Uh, Broderick Jones, I think, was an amazing pick in the offense um, in the uh, off season. I mean, Joey Porter Jr. You traded away Chase Claypool for Joey Porter Jr. What an amazing trade. Chase Claypool is absolute garbage. Didn't they? Didn't the Bears just trade for him? They used him for half a season, then traded him away to like for a six round pick to the Dolphins. It was a total garbage trade for the Bears. And I can't believe the Steelers actually got away with trading a second round pick and getting Joey Porter. Basically a first round pick, pick 32 in the draft for Joey Porter. Steal of a move by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Getting Pat Pete in the offseason is great as well. I did not know they got Desmond King. I for real thought he was still on the Texans. They got Levi Wallace, who is Mac Cam Hayward, who is a very underrated defensive lineman. Huge veteran, of course. He is 6'5", 300 pounds, 34 years old. I don't know how long he's going to stay in this rebuild. And of course, the man himself, arguably the best edge rusher in the NFL, TJ Watt. D uh, defensive player of the year last year was Nick Bosa, but we'll see how TJ Watt plays with a full season if he can stay healthy for a full season. Minka Fitzpatrick, arguably one of the best safeties in the NFL, if not the best. In my opinion, I still think it's Derwin James. Whenever Derwin James is healthy, I think it should be undebatable that he's the best, but Derwin James is always not healthy, of course. And then Evan Neal, not Evan Neal, Keanu, Keanu Neal. I swear his last name was different. I, for some reason, I remember it differently. But anyways, this is the team we got. I like the defense, obviously. The offense, I need Kenny Pickett to develop. And Najee Harris, he's young. He has superstar dev. In Madden, he's good. In real life, I'm not so sure. George Pickens is eventually going to be the receiver one on this team. But for right now, Deontay, Deontay Johnson is 27 and he is a superstar dev. So I'm going to leave that there. And I want to put George Pickens... Do I put... I would rather have Calvin Austin in the slot, honestly, rather than Allen Robinson. Holcomb is actually great. I'm surprised he only has normal dev. Joey Porter, I'm going to put in the slot as well, as well as DB number one. So that way he can get a lot of reps and potentially get defensive rookie of the year. But anyways, guys, let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and three bottom of the division. Honestly, maybe better than in real life. Coming off a blowout win to the Los Angeles Rams. Look at our team ranks. We're doing pretty good in almost everything. I mean, defensive points per game isn't crazy. In real life, I know it's a lot better. Rushing game is 19th, but honestly, a lot better than I thought we'd be doing. I think our division rivals just have tough teams in Madden, but for the scouting national focus, I always do auto-generated players just because everyone's going to be like, oh, well, you should do college players. You should do real players. You don't know who's going to be good until the day of the draft actually comes. So until two months before the draft is whenever I actually start using them. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, into your offensive line, it definitely needs to be improved, but I feel like I don't need to necessarily focus scout that. I need to do middle linebacker now that Devin Bush 
is off the team. Yes, Cole Holcomb's doing good, but he's not going to be a long-term fix for this team. And maybe Cam Hayward is also not going to be a long-term fix for this team. I'm pretty sure he's playing the rush defensive tackle in the specialist position. But for right now, Levi Wallace, not really interested in. Desmond King, same thing. I would be interested if he um, had interest with the team. We only have 3.3 million right here. And everyone here, I'm just not interested in. 3.3 million isn't enough to do anything. I want Najee Harris back because, again, in Madden, being young with Superstar Dev is really good. But in real life, not really a huge fan. Anyways, let's move into the playoffs. And we're finishing 6 and 11. Look at our team ranks. We're not even that bad. I think in Madden, yeah, the Ravens are in Bengals are cracked in Madden. They both have X Factor quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson, I believe, is like an 82 overall now. We're coming off a shutout loss, 27 0 against the Ravens. Look away, Steelers fans. I know you're going to be mad about it. Kenny Pickett. Not good. 85 pass rating is terrible. 11th best offense, 7th best defense, and we go 6-11. and 11. 17 interceptions is completely unacceptable. 20 touchdowns is nothing impressive. And an 85 pass rating is hot garbage. But hopefully you can improve from there. Najee Harris, 15 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, 1,200 yards, almost 1,300 yards. This is the production we want from Najee in real life, but... Yeah, this is uh, something that you're probably not going to get with Najee in real life. But Madden, he's doing good. Pat Fryermuth, 1,000 yards, four touchdowns. George Pickens already way outperforming Deontay Johnson. God, that is not a good stat line for Deontay Johnson for being a receiver one. Defensively, Cole Holcomb, 110 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 15 for TJ Watt. Sacks, nine for TJ Watt. Eight for Alex Highsmith. Six and a half for Larry Ogan, Joby. And receptions, three for Cole Holcomb. He's probably going to get started out now. Zero safeties and zero defensive touchdowns. Unfortunately, Madden Sim is not working to our favor right now, but hopefully we can fix that down the line. Let's move in to the offseason. And the Bills win their first ever Super Bowl, 21-18 against the Niners. James Cook wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP. Unfortunately, Joey Porter Jr. does not get Defensive Rookie of the Year. It's going to be Rams defensive end Byron Young. I believe he was like a third-round pick. I mean, Rams don't really have much picks to work with, but hey, good for them. And um, AFC North, two Ravens player retire, Zeitler and Josh Johnson, I believe. But let's see what we got here. For the team upgrades, please be something good. Offensively, Pat Fryermuth gets superstar dev, which is really good for us. And defensively, we are the exact same. Joey Porter Jr. doesn't get a dev up, which is unfortunate. And unfortunately, Cole Holcomb stays at a normal dev. But anyways, we're going to move into the resign players. So unfortunately, we only have 1.2 million. So we're going to see who we're missing out on. Najee suddenly doesn't have an interest with the team. So I'm just going to accept his fifth year option. We're going to lose Levi Wallace. We're going to lose two of our starting defensive backs here. And a Keanu Neal, second string, strong safety. And the rest of these extras are going to be gone as well. Obviously, we don't have money to re-sign anyone. So I'm just going to skip out on free agency and get to the draft. So I'm not going to catch you guys. I know a lot of Steelers fans are going to hate me for drafting a quarterback, but Cody Pitts looks sick. I'm at pick number seven, elite strength, elite throw power, solid across the board, other athleticism, A awareness, A throw under pressure, A deep accuracy, B medium accuracy, B break sack, six foot three, 235 out of Wake Forest. I think Cody Pitts looks sick. I think he looks sick. These other guys also don't look bad either. Mike Reese out of Kansas State. He is great, great, and then elite change of direction, a lot more athletic overall, but doesn't necessarily have as much accuracy. I feel like everyone would hate me for picking a QB1, but this is my rebuild. I'm going to be doing more Steelers rebuilds down the line. I'm going to take Cody Pitts. As much as people are going to hate this, hidden dev, 96 throw power, an absolute nuke for an arm. That's like Josh Allen throw power. Josh Allen's more like 98, but even though he doesn't have the speed or athleticism, people are going to hate on this pick. I don't care. This is, this is a way better quarterback from what I see from this stat sheet than what we have with Kenny Pickett. His ceiling is way higher, and this is just year number one. So we're going to go with Cody Pitts here, and if you don't like it, I don't care. In the second round, I'm going with left end Jason Hendricks, six foot five, almost 300 pounds at Oklahoma State, 91 strength, 77 speed, hidden dev. He looks amazing. A tackle, A play rec, Bs for his other stats. He looks great. In the third round, I am nailing all these picks. Super fast linebacker. Does that ring a bell? <clears throat> Devin Bush. But this time he's in the third round. Brandon Hurley at a Notre Dame 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 6 foot, 240, hidden dev, A awareness, A zone coverage, A stamina, B play rec, B hit power. He looks great, especially for a third round pick. 
Now, I already know everyone in the comments is hating me for this pick, but Pitts is a 79 overall rookie. He is a stud. And then look at this. Kenny Pickett's a 74. I Kenny Pickett has had two years to develop in Madden. This dude's first year in, he's already five overalls higher. Significantly better. His floor, already higher. His ceiling, higher. We don't even know his dev yet, and he just looks like a better guy. I'm not trying to shit on Kenny Pickett. I'm just saying, let's hypothetically say that Caleb Williams is on the board. Let's hypothetically say somehow the Steelers, the Caleb Williams falls in the draft. It won't happen. But if he did fall in the draft and Caleb Williams is on the board, are you going to take Caleb Williams or are you going to be like, ah, well, Kenny Pickett's good enough? No, you're, you're taking Kenny Pitt. You're going to take, um, you're going to take Caleb Williams. So obviously I'm not comparing this guy to Caleb Williams. I'm just, it's just a hypothetical statement. This guy, five overalls higher. He's younger. He potentially has a better development trait. I'm trading Kenny Pickett. Sorry to anyone who wanted to see the massive Kenny Pickett rebuild, but we're going to trade him to a separate conference. Of course, just take Kenny Pickett, bro. God, Kenny Pickett to the Bears because it was the only team other than the Titans who wouldn't accept my offers and the Vikings who wouldn't accept my offers for a six, Kenny Pickett in a six round pick gets me the Bears second round pick. So again, we're stealing from the Bears and getting a second round pick that could potentially be a first round pick like Joey Porter. I'm kidding. You can't suspend picks in Madden, but Kenny Pickett's going to a starting situation because I'm sure the Bears have given up on Justin Fields here. So this is what we got. Pitts, he just looks so much better. Cody Pitts looks a lot better. I know a ton of people are still hating on me for the pick. Defensively, Hurley is a 76 overall for a rookie. It's amazing. Hendricks is a 72 overall. We're going to move him up to second string defensive tackle as well. Joey Porter is going to be the starter, of course. Specialist, I'm going to move Hurley to the starting sub linebacker. And Alex Highsmith is going to be coming off the edge. Ogan Joby's there. We're going to leave all that the way it is. Everything else is good. Going to put Calvin Austin back into the slot. And apart from that, guys, moving into year number one with our new quarterback and year number two in the rebuild, let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and four, but this time we're second in the division because everyone else has dropped off. Our defense is not performing all of a sudden. Don't like the new quarterback, apparently. <laughs> not a big fan of them. They're like, ah, screw you. We don't like the quarterback. But um, I need to scout DB. I need to scout some DB desperately because... After, once Pat Pete is gone, we only have Joey Porter Jr. and DeMonte Kazi as well for strong safety. I need some DBs on this defense. Pat Fryermuth, of course, I want you back. Give you a player-friendly contract. Five years, he resigns. Deontay Johnson. Do two years on that contract, please. He resigns on that. 84 overall superstar dev. James Daniels, I need you back. I need the player-friendly contract as he resigns on that. Cam Hayward, I would like you back as well. I'll do a two-year contract with you. He resigns. Jalen Warren can walk. Allen Robinson can walk. Everyone else here, Pat P, he's just going to have to walk. He's going to he's gonna go from an 82 to like a 77 or something like that. Anyways, let's see if we can make the playoffs. And we finish 7-10. and 10. Rushing game, garbage. Defense is garbage for some reason. I improved my defense by adding, <laughs> by adding another linebacker and a defensive end. They're like, no, he's trash. My quarterback looks good for his rookie season. 15th best offense, 17th best defense. Uh, he had 20 interceptions, but still had a better passer rating than Kenny Pickett. 30 touchdowns, 10 more inter 10 more touchdowns than Kenny Pickett and 200 more yards. He'll fix up that interception problem soon enough. I want to see if Kenny Pickett started on the Bears here. He did not, and he threw one attempt for nothing. Okay, he's the third string quarterback. The Bears picked up a quarter. Okay. All right, I guess. It is what it is. Uh, Rushing-wise, Najee, 4.4 per carry, 15 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. Pat Fryermuth, not even 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Calvin Austin with 10 touchdowns. That deserves star dev. Defensively, uh, Brandon Hurley, the rookie, 115 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 15 for Cam Hayward. Sacks, 14 for TJ Watt, 6 for Alex Highsmith. Interceptions, 3 for Demonte Kazi. Safeties, 1 for Larry Ogunjobi. Defensive touchdowns is 0. But anyways, guys, apart from that, that is going to be it for year number two. Let's move into the offseason. And the Niners get their revenge on the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. 27-21, Hufungo wins the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen wins the league MVP. There are no awards here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was really hoping Cody Pitts got the rookie of the year, but he did throw 20 interceptions. So, yikes. 
Allen Robinson does retire. Greg Zerline, Greg the Leg retires on the Cleveland Browns. But we're going to see what we got here for the team upgrades. I'm going to give Calvin Austin star dev if they didn't give it to him because he almost got 1,000 yards and uh, 10 touchdowns. Yeah, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. I think Calvin Austin definitely deserves at least a star dev. Not superstar, but double-digit touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. That's a solid season, an above-average season for sure. He's going to get star dev. Anything else here? Pitts only has star dev, but that's better than Kenny Pickett. So we're going to deal with that. Defensively, what do we got? Hurley has superstar dev. Hendricks has superstar dev. No, has star dev, not superstar dev. Kazi gets star dev, but Demonte Kazi, I'm not going to resign. And of course, Pat Pete is down to a 77, like I said he would be. Let's get to the resignings. Here we are for the resignings. Don't want Jalen Warren. Don't need that left tackle. Don't need that right tackle. Demonte Kazi's 32. Pat Pete's is 77, like I said he would be. All these guys I don't want. I have 42 million. I'm going to try to improve the team through free agency. So we are stealing a division rival in Greg Newsome. We are getting Rasul Douglas from the Packers, stealing another division rival from the Bengals, and another division rival from the Browns. Huge free agency for us, getting a left tackle. So I moved uh, Broderick Jones to right tackle. And of course, Evan McPherson is going to outplay Chris Boswell because Chris Boswell is 34 years old and he's uh, 73 overall. Need a new kicker. So let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm going to be trading away pick 10s to the Niners so that way I can have their next year's first round pick. I get their third, the fourth, and their seven as well. I'm cool with this. In the first round, I pick 32 since I traded back. I'm uh, picking free safety Sammy Woodard, who I'm going to move to strong safety. 5'11", 200 pounds, 90 speed, 91 acceleration, normal dev, B awareness, B pursuit, B zone coverage. He looks solid. In the second round with the Bears pick that I trade away for Kenny Pickett, Josh Carmichael out of Miami, 6'1", 228, 91 speed, 88 acceleration, hidden dev, A hit power, A zone coverage, B awareness. He's going to be our other middle linebacker. And with my second round pick, I'm picking up center Easton McDonald out of Wisconsin. 6'2", 307, 85 strength, 77 speed, 85 acceleration. Is really fast for a lineman who's 307 pounds. Hidden dev, A impact blocking, A run blocking, B pass blocking, B pass block finesse. He's a very balanced player and he looks great. And with my third round pick, I'm picking up left guard Gary Elliott out of Tennessee, 6'5", 308, hidden dev, 87 strength, 76 acceleration, A awareness, B run blocking, and B pass blocking. Now, this is the team after the draft. I'm going to trade away our current left guard just because I don't need him anymore. He's 31 years old. Does anyone have interest? No one has an interest in him. Highly doubt that. The Cardinals need a left guard. Sure. Give me your fifth round pick for him. Seem fair enough. He's 31 years old. Yeah, they're going to accept that. So people do have interest. I don't know why it says nobody has an interest. But anyways, McDonald, Elliott are both here now. New improvements to the offensive line. Receiving core looks solid, not crazy. George Pickens would be better in real life. Defensively, I think we could look a lot better with Carmichael as well. So we're going to start Hurley, put Carmichael at the two actually. And then do I put I want Woodard at strong safety? Yes, I know he's 5'11", so he doesn't necessarily have the size. I had my eye on a strong safety, but I traded too far back in the draft. But, you know, it is what it is. We got we got our guy Woodard here, so we're going to see what he can do. And I'm going to cut Larry Ogunjobi. I don't need him anymore. He's 30 years old. Yeah, I don't want to be paying him an extra $4 million, $7 million on his contract, but I'll save $4 million if I cut him. So he's off the team, and we should be pretty good from there. I have to adjust this again because I cut my uh, Larry Ogunjobi, of course. Carmichael move up there. Specialist. We're going to have Hurley, of course, above Holcomb, but he's going to play as the second string sub linebacker. And everything else looks pretty good. Happy with their defense. Greg Newsom, Rasul Douglas. Defense looks good. Hopefully the AI doesn't screw us again on our defense. I know my team is definitely good enough to make the playoffs. It just depends whether or not the AI will let me. So let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are four and three, top of the division. I hope we don't choke this because it can be stolen from us at any point. Coming off a big win to the Ravens as we could be losing here to the Bengals. Well, I mean, we're playing the Bears, but we could lose the division to the Bengals. Do the Bears start Kenny Pickett here or are they still starting Justin Fields? They have Aaron Donald. They're still starting Justin Fields and Kenny Pickett is not there. Wow. They traded a second round pick for him and they don't up, end up using him. That sounds familiar with the Bears. <clears throat> Chase Claypool. Um, we got scouting national focus. I'm going to do defensive tackle. I know it's like, oh, you're not going offense here. Defense isn't the problem. 
in Madden for some reason. But the defense is the problem for no reason. It's not giving me a good reason why. They're just like, eh, your defense sucks for no reason. But um, yeah, look at look at our defensive ranks. Oh, it's your schemes. It's your schemes. Tell me what's the right scheme. God. But uh, TJ Watt, definitely want you back. There's literally no debate for it. We're going to re-sign him. Najee Harris, I want you back for the rest of the rebuild. This is just year number three. George Pickens, of course, I want you back long-term, five-year deal. We're going to re-sign him. We're passing out these contracts like they're nothing. Calvin Austin, four-year deal with you. You're my great slot player. Taylor Rapp, don't necessarily need you. Cole Holcomb, I don't necessarily need you, but you're not bad depth either, so I'll keep you for the rest of the rebuild. Corey Trice, no. He's good in real life, but in Madden, 71 normal dev is not going to cut it. Brodrick Jones, I don't know if I'm going to be taking that option because we might not be doing a fifth year. But let's move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 8-9, missing the playoffs. Thank you, EA, for your marvelous game that you produce every year, and I pay $70 for this bullshit. Look at this. Look at this. Terrible. 8-9. How? <laughs> My quarterback, ball out. Eighth the best offense in the NFL. Sure, sure, the Steelers' defense is 24th. Sure, Cody Pitts, 17 receptions is still too much. But 39 touchdowns, 4,300 yards, 102 pass rating is actually good. Najee Harris, 16 touchdowns, 4.7 per carry, 1,300 yards is a great season. Deontay Johnson, nobody had 1,000 yards, but great ball distribution here. Uh, Pat Fryermuth with 11 touchdowns. Calvin Austin with 11 touchdowns. George Pickens with 6. Looking at it defensively, Bradley, now Brandon Hurley, 135 tackles, tackles for a loss, 20 for Alex Highsmith, sacks, 13 half for TJ Watt, interceptions, four for Greg Newsome, safeties on the team, one for Alex Highsmith, defensive touchdown, zero. So we haven't made the playoffs yet because EA is so fabulous at making um, Madden games, but let's see if we can do it in the final year. Let's move to the offseason. And the Niners double down on their revenge. 24 to 21, Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl MVP. Bryce Young wins the league MVP. At the rate he's going right now, I don't think that will happen. But, you know, I guess we'll see. And no awards here for the Steelers. Players are ready for retirement. Players retiring, actually. Joel Batonio, left guard for the Cleveland Browns, is going to retire. We're going to see what we got for the team upgrades. Moving to the fourth and final year. It's ridiculous that we haven't made the playoffs yet because EA doesn't know how to make a proper game. Pat Fryermuth gets X-Factor, which is awesome to see. Both my offensive linemen are star dev. And, um... Scheme. I had it at Patriots the entire time. We were good in the first season. Then for some reason, we were trash after that. I'm just going to go back to Pittsburgh. Hopefully that will work. I don't know why. Sometimes Pittsburgh is total hit or miss for me. Hurley gets up to X Factor. Carmichael has star dev, which is awesome to see. And Woodard gets star dev, which is awesome to see as well. So players look to be improved. 87 overall team. The game just won't let me win. So let's move into the re-signings. For the re-signings, Broderick Jones, sure, I'll just accept the option because why not? Everyone else here, I'm not interested in. I have $53 million to spend in free agency. I'm just going to take a peek to see if there is anything there of value. Now we got some quick fixes to help the teams overall. Joe Thune at left guard, Tyler Lockett as a new slot receiver, and J. Ron Kirst at strong safety, Michael Pierce as a depth defensive tackle. We don't necessarily need these guys. They're just to help boost the overall. Let's get into the draft. In the first round, don't really need anything else, so I'm taking defensive tackle Dalton Green out of Notre Dame. 6'2", 301, 91 strength, hidden dev, A play rec, A tackle, B awareness, and a bunch of other Bs on the board. He looks great. My other first round pick that I got from the Niners, I'm picking up a tight end because we really don't need anything else. Hidden dev, 6'5", 268, 85 speed, 86 acceleration, A awareness, A injury, A catching, B deep route. He looks great as well. In the second round, I'm picking up another defensive tackle because why not? Kendrick Goodwill out of LSU, 6'3", 303, hidden Hidden dev, very balanced athleticism, A finesse moves, A, A hip power, B awareness, B play rec. Here we are after the draft. The team improvement is great. Over Street is a 74 overall. It was a great pick, 76 overall fullback, so we'll just move him there for now. Team has a lot of plug and play players. An 88 overall team is very good. Look at this. Look at this defensive tackle group, dude. Michael Pierce isn't even on here. I, I guess the AI just cut him. And it looks like the AI picked up this guy named Matthews as well, who also looks good. And Hopkins. We had a great draft. The team is great. Hopefully the AI does not screw us over for our fourth and final, final season, but we better make the playoffs here. Let's move into it. And we're finally making it in the playoffs. Coming off wins to the Texans, 13-4, and four, top of the division here to face the 10-7 and seven Cincinnati Bengals. It's actually a really hard matchup for us off the rip. Cody Pitts looks amazing. Sixth best offense in the NFL. 
Eight, okay, sure. 18th defense, whatever. 4,400 yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 receptions. Finally fixed, fixed his interception problem. 106 pass rating. Najee Harris, 18 touchdowns, 5.2 per carry, almost 1,400 yards. That should be an X factor. Pat Fryman with 102 receptions, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. He's been the top receiver this entire rebuild. Tyler Lockett doing solid. Defensively, Brandon Hurley, 122 tackles, tackles for a loss, 15 for TJ Watt. Sacks, 19 and a half for TJ Watt, 13 for Alex Highsmith. He finally had a huge breakout. Sewell Douglas, three interceptions. Safeties on the team, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So hopefully Alex Highsmith does get superstar dev. But let's see what we got here for the wild card round. This is a really tough matchup. Can we at least win a playoff game before the video ends? We do. 35 to 14 here to face the 11 and 6 Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to hop in here. I never play the wild card, but I do just at least look at the divisional. Here we are in the divisional round against the Indianapolis Colts. We're going to start out 7-0. They're going to make it 7-3, 7-10 now as they take the lead. 10-10 as it's 10-17 to at halftime. We have the lead. Just hold. Just hold. 24-10. Come on. 24-17. Just hold, bro. And they're choking. They're choking. They're choking. 24-27. Uh, as the Colts beat us in the divisional round for no reason. <laughs> No reason at all. That's where I'm going to end the video. It was a poor rebuild, even though we did have Cody Pitts and he did do good. For some reason, our defense is trash for absolutely no reason. Just let me know down in the comments below which defense you want me to actually rebuild with because this was probably my worst flop yet for a rebuild. And a lot of you guys are going to say it's because I didn't have Kenny Pickett. That's not the reason. It's, we had a great offense. My quarterback got up to a 93 overall. It's just for some reason my defense is considered trash for no reason. Even my rookie defensive tackle is superstar dev. So anyways, guys, apart from that, make sure you like and or subscribe.